What's happening, y'all? Um, I want to touch on something real quick because I was talking about that voluntary escrow and I kind of threw y'all off a little bit still. That's why I didn't show the whole thing because it's kind of crazy, y'all. And if I showed you everything else, then y'all be like, uh, you know, it, it, you'll be just totally lost. So I was on the right uh, path of saying what I was saying and I kind of like skipped over something. Um, so after all the accessorials, I was left with, um, excuse me, $13,600. Now you saw where it said trailer revenue was $1,360. That's the 10%. Uh, also do a 15% voluntary escrow. And it comes off that same amount. So it's about two thousand dollars, two thousand forty bucks. So you got that portion is not shown on your actual check when they pay out. It just shows as a deduction that they take out and they uh put it on the side, which you're gonna see in the video clip here in a second. So I wanted to be clear on that, you know. That's a part of how you maximize your revenue and all that good stuff. Um so you see me 154 you know got the accessorials out we're at 136 and we work our 10 and 15 percent off that you know and then damn this dude just ran over the curve and everything damn and then when all that's said and done when it's all broken down landstar takes their 35 percent so when you sit there and, and go and add everything up, that's how it is. You better learn it. You better figure it out. Um, or else you go somewhere else and go lease on to them. But uh, there's different ways of getting the voluntary, not the voluntary escrow. Your accessorials, it's in your contract. You, you, you find out. Sometimes you just can't get it all, but sometimes... You can. I'm not saying you can get nine different accessorials, but, you know, you just got to work that out between you and the agent, you know, and the customer if possible. Sometimes you can't get it done on a direct load. But the point is, you can make 80%, 85%. You know, like I said, one week I did 90%. And, um, it fluctuates a little bit, and I know people probably won't like. But it really don't matter if the math if the math comes out. If it, if I ran two thousand miles and still made five thousand dollars after everything, it doesn't it really doesn't matter now, does it? But um, and that's the thing we be trying to drill the people. You know, it's always this argument about eighty percent, ninety percent, and this and that. Like you seen it right, y'all just seen it right there. So there's really nothing to talk about when it comes down to that. Um. If you're here, you better learn. You better go ask the questions, and that's pretty much it. You know, I got some errands to run today. Um, oh, nah, is he bumping over here? But uh, I got some errands I got to run and some business to take care of. But I just wanted to come back to y'all and hit y'all with that because I just realized, I was like, damn, you were saying it right, and then you kind of like left out the 13. I mean, y'all could add it up. But I kind of got off. I just said it was coming out of here and there. But I just want to make sure I tell y'all that there was, after them accessorials, and you saw those three lows up there, there was $13,600 right there. Um, After those accessorials. Then that voluntary escrow hit. Then that trailer pay hit. If you got your own trailer or whatever, you know. Then Landstar comes in and get theirs. So you always hear the people say, "Whoa, well, sixty-five percent." See, they just take sixty. They just take thirty-five percent. You know, they gonna have to get something. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you operating off their authority. You want to use their fuel card and get them big discounts or whatever. You want them to handle all your paperwork and stuff like that. You know, there are some things. Yeah, I mean, I don't agree with or whatever, but I'm in the building. So I got, you know, using them to do your IFTA and all that uh, and whatever else they got to offer. But uh, 
there's a there's a bunch of things they offer, you know. And there's some like I said that I like, and there's things I don't like. But I'm just telling you how to get some money, man. And that's pretty much it, you know. Just telling you how to maximize your revenue, you know. The rest of it is up to you, man. I mean, you ain't gonna have nobody sit down with you and really talk to you about it like I did in the car one day with uh, his name's Mr. Charles. Um, he's out there in Dallas. And um, that's a good dude. So he put me on, and I ran with it ever since. You know, I could have came to Land Star Ranger back in 2005, and didn't come. I, I got, I got, I got scared. They had the old contract. I didn't like that 98 percent of, of, of something they had going on. You know, 65 percent or 98 percent or some crap, whatever it was. Some people said. The drivers actually screwed themselves in it. I don't know. So, I wasn't here back then. I'm here now. So, I'm just telling y'all because I see a lot of y'all wanting to come on. I see y'all on Cash is King. I see y'all on Cooley channel. I see y'all on Josh channel. Whatever channel y'all on trying to get in. So, that's how it works. You know, you can't get 15% like me right out the gate. That's not going to happen. You have to be proven to make money. You know, you got to make money for that to happen. Uh, so, if you want to try it out, you can start out at like 2% or something like that and go from there. But I'm just telling you, when you sit down and do the math, you just do a plain old 65%, and you do the breakdown how I just, just gave you, you can be like, damn, dog, I really did lose a lot of money. So, if you're here, you better learn it. That's all I can tell you. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to let y'all watch this piece real quick, and then I'm out of here. Peace out. So here we go again. Here go the settlement, right? All right, 15400 with the breakdown um, of the accessorials at 100%. Again, some drivers might get some 65%ers in there, but that's the breakdown before Landstar gets their cut, right? You know, all the you, whether it's 100% or 65%. And then we get to move on over to check what the trailer and then the voluntary escort I'm trying to explain to y'all about. So now we got the trailer over here, right? The trailers pay, you know. Um, but after all the accessorials, we're left with thirteen thousand six hundred dollars. Add up the three right there in the line haul, and then you go from there. I did have some physical damage taken out, so it left me with like thirteen hundred dollars or whatever it is over there to the net. Now we get over here. And we see what we're talking about with this voluntary escrow. That same section you just saw where I got my trailer pay, I get my 15% of that. I kind of like crossed out a couple of things. I don't want to show you my lower numbers and stuff. $7,000, 15% is $1,050. $3,600 for the other load and $3,000 for the other load. So I'm just going back to show you this again. So you get 15%. I do. Not everybody does because they don't. Been here, they ain't been here long enough, and they've been generating enough money. But you just start at a, at a lower increment. You just got to fill out the contract, call contractor services, and you can get that done. But that's how that works. So I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about this time. So we got one right here. Lows drops on the 8th. But not all lows have to drop on the day that says they're at the bottom right. You know, you can get in earlier, you get in earlier, which I intend to do. So that's going to be today. So. We have a total gross of $57.62. Top line haul up there is $3,003, 3 right? Multiple accessorials there. Dual driver, usually teams, but they ain't got no teams, so they still got to pay because it's in the contract, I guess. That's a 65%er. You know, then you got others that are like 100% there. So it's a little variation, like I said the other day, versus the one that you saw. $3,003 up top for that line haul is a... Uh, 10% for the trailer out of that, 15% out of that same dollar amount for the voluntary escrow. That voluntary escrow, again, does not show up on your paycheck at, when they when they put, load your card. But it shows as a deduction, and they put it away in your little account, and you can get it when you need it, and that's it. Landstar just has their way of doing it. If you don't figure it out, you'll get left behind, right? So there's all kinds of ways to make money here. You know, you just got to figure it out. Um... You got the 12, 26 on multiple accessorials. That's just a breakdown on the actual cost per mile per each item. Then you have some guys say, well, why do all that when I could just go drive for whoever at 80% or 85%? You can go do that. But remember, 
do these guys got a good safety rating? Do these guys got direct shippers? You know, are you just looking off the low board all day? When the rates go down, is your rate going to be the same? This is probably the same rate year round for them, you know. So that's the difference in some of these loads at times. You know, we do have a lot of broker loads too. But when loads like this come up and you can get them, boy, it's sweet, especially when the market is bad. So with that said, again, there's numerous ways to make money here. You just got to ask the right people and figure it out.